bomb. The goat shed is on fire. The goat calls for help. The cat leaps to the bell rope and rings. The hen brings a bucket and the rooster fills it at the well. The folk hasten to put out the fire. Then they all sit around and sing the bomb. The ducks, swans, and geese were flying into an open field. There they made a bathing pool, surrounded and helped by eager workers. The sparrow, the cockerel, the mouse, the louse, the flea, the gnat, all fighting their way to the bath, jumping at each other. One perched too high and fell. In a deep sigh it said, Ah me, I am going to die. The bear. Once upon a time, there was an old couple. They had no children. The old woman said to the old man, go and bring some wood. The man took his hatchet and went into the woods. There he met suddenly a bear, great big bear, who came towards him and said, old man, Come, let us fight. The old man lifted his hatchet and chopped off the bear's paw. Then he took it home and said to his wife, Here is a bear's paw for our dinner. Cook it, woman. In the meantime, the bear was roaring with anger and pain and sobbed and cried. Then suddenly he decided to make himself a wooden paw from a branch of a lime tree. Then he limped towards the village looking for his own paw and singing. Scrippy naga, scrippy lipavaya. It means creak, creak, my wooden paw. Water and earth are asleep. Everybody's asleep. Only one person is not asleep. It's the old woman who is cooking my paw and drying my skin. The old couple heard it and they were frightened. And then they hid themselves under the bed. The old woman started to cough and the old man's teeth began to rattle. So the bear heard them, and he was able to find them. He went into the hut, dragged them out from under the bed, and ate them up. Screepy Marco, screepy Pofonio, Ivoda Spit, Isimla Tos. Oh, 
Oh, yeah.